Welcome back everyone to Living Survival. My name is Ben and today we're gonna take a look at what's inside my bug out roll. So this is the bug out roll. Now before we get started with what the bug out roll is and the contents inside, let's start with what the bug out roll isn't. So this is not your typical tool roll that you might find at uh, home improvement stores or your uh, you know, your knife roll that you're gonna keep your knives in or your barbecue set in. This is a super duper high quality roll that allows you to organize all your gear. Now, applications for this are pretty endless. You could load this up as a survival roll. Uh, keep it in the vehicle, which is probably what I'm gonna do with mine. Mine's gonna serve dual purpose. It has survival equipment in it, so it makes for a great car kit bag, especially with the form factor, sort of like a duffel bag here. You can just throw it in the vehicle and you have all this stuff loaded up in case you need it. But also when I go camping. Now, when I generally go camping, I'm either doing uh, one of three things. I'm backpacking, which I go ultralight. I wouldn't take something like this for that and that's really not its intended purpose if I'm hiking into a campsite you could certainly load this up and attach it to the outside of a pack you could attach it to the top of the pack or the bottom of the pack chances are a lot of the items that you would store in here would be items that you would store in a pack now I'm not gonna store a sleeping bag in here I'm not gonna store my tent in here I'm not gonna store the majority of my food or cooking equipment things like that the larger items those would still go in my pack but having this roll uh, is going to allow you to organize the rest of your gear for example if I hike into a campsite all my gear is stuffed down in my bag and you really have to lay out a tarp in most cases to keep everything dry and off the ground and then I have to go through and figure out where everything is where my steaks are where my uh, cordage is where my food is where my cook kit is where my hygiene is this eliminates all of that you can simply just unroll this you have multi uh, you have different sections in here that you could detach it is modular so you can tear off the uh, the shelter section or you could tear off the first aid section again multi-purpose in that you could load this up as a full-blown uh, trauma kit, a full-blown first aid kit. The uh, options are pretty endless. You could keep this in your garage. You could keep it full of tools. Uh, it, what this does is it allows you to have a high quality pack that allows you to organize your gear so that you're not searching for it when you may need it the most. So the bug out roll was designed by my buddy Nate, Canadian prepper, and made in Canada. So super high quality. He didn't want to sacrifice anything when it comes to quality. So it's top notch sewing, top notch materials. You have a thousand D Cordura. I believe this one is 600 D. So you have a choice there with the materials. Nevertheless, super duper high quality, water resistant. Of course, it's UV resistant. Uh, you have 30 gauge cold crack UV resist windows, which we'll look at in a moment. I have done a fair amount of testing on those. And then you have number 10 YKK zipper. So it is built like a tank. It is overbuilt. Again, you're not going to find something like this out on the market. There are cheaper alternatives out there, but they are not going to be as high quality and as useful as the bug out roll. On the outside, you have five different attachment points. So you have your two attachment points for your side flap. You have your main flap attachment point. Again, high quality webbing, high quality buckles. And then on the back, you have two other attachment points for when you roll over these side flaps. Now you could easily tuck extra things in here. I mentioned maybe a bed roll or even a tent you could uh, tuck in here. There are uh, D-rings here that you could use to attach a shoulder strap if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not so sure this would replace a standard backpack for me, but again, this allows you to get that extra level of organization, something that I'm always uh, messing around with at camp. Things are all over the place. Things just end up getting shoved back down on my bag and then you gotta go looking for them again. So high quality on the outside. Everything is sewn really nice. It comes in uh, uh, several different colors, including red if you wanted to do a first aid kit, a camo version, I believe it comes in an OD version, this khaki version, and then he has a new black version that's a little bit more affordable 
adjustable. Uh, it's not as modular as this, but uh, it, it has some good features to it as well. So to open up the bug out roll, very simple. You just go ahead and you un, uh, undo your straps here, your five different uh, buckles, and then you simply just unroll the pack. Now something that impressed me the most about the bug out roll is how much gear you can fit into this thing and how small it stays. I was loading up all the individual pockets and I thought no way this thing's going to roll up. No way that it's going to you know, have the form factor that you've seen on some of the other videos. But sure enough, you can get a ton of gear in here and it rolls up relatively small. So you can get the bug out roll in several different configurations. This would be the main configuration. You can order it just like this with the three different compartments, the clear vinyl compartments, and then the admin section below. Or you can get the full roll, which gives you not only the standard configuration, but it gives you uh, an extra two zip pockets made of Cordura, and then an extra two zip pockets made again of the vinyl. So where the bug out roll really shines is the ability to hang it. Not only can you hang it on a tree limb, but you could also hang it off the side of your camper or off the side of your vehicle. There is a mounting hook or a loop here at the top of the uppermost section and I just have a carabiner clipped onto that. This is actually a hero clip. What's nice about the hero clip is that you can clip uh, this section on and then you actually just have a loop there that you can use to throw around a tree branch. So very easy to use. It, it allows you to clip it onto anything. This actually folds down around this uh, and it also swivels. So that's nice. You can turn, you know, you can use the swivel there and turn your kit depending on where you want it to uh, to be located. So I really like those hero clips. It works really well with the bug out roll. So again, I have very easy access to all my gear, whether I'm getting into the admin section, getting into some of the top zippered sections, or again, these two bottom modular sections, which again, you can actually just rip right off. So I could rip that section off. Again, I could take this over to where I'm building my shelter and have it with me as well. If you loaded this up uh, as a trauma kit, you could tear off the bottom section as your trauma kit, take that to where you needed it. Uh, very heavy duty Velcro, so these just attach right back on. No matter how heavy your load is, they attach on here. Uh, this is also a Velcro section, so you get two additional Velcro sections with the complete roll. If you get just the standard roll, again, you're just gonna get that top section that you see there. The quality is something that you really notice right off the bat. Again, with these number 10 YKK zips, I was impressed at how much you can actually stuff in these pockets and still have this zipper shut. You know, it shuts very easily. You're not struggling to shut it. You don't feel like you're pulling it or gonna break it. I love that about gear that is made like that. You don't have to worry about it coming apart on you. And again, these vinyl uh, windows here, these vinyl pockets, these are really heavy duty, I believe 30 gauge vinyl. Uh, again, I've poked and pressed and again, I have things like this gas canister just shoved down in there that would, you know, puncture through or at least put a mark in most vinyl. It doesn't do so on this. I have these pockets all loaded up here. Now I also let these get really cold. I had them down to about 10 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for a few days, left it outside and I, I was shoving things in and out just to see, you know, if the cold would affect it at all and it doesn't. So, you know, these are very high quality. You don't have to worry about them coming apart. It never fails when I show a loadout that people ask where they can get particular items. So if there is an Amazon link for any of these products, I'll be sure to list it in the description below. Let's start with the top section here. Again, you have these really smooth YKK zippers. It doesn't matter if you have something really thick in here like this water filter. The zippers, surprisingly enough, are very, very smooth. I thought that would be an issue. It is definitely not an issue. So let's start here at the top where you have these three different sections. I have some wilderness wash. This is great for uh, cleaning up around camp, cleaning your cookware. I have these uh, human gear uh, utensils here. It's a fork and a spoon. They slide together. They fit really nicely into the bug out roll so you can use them separately. I believe you can even attach them uh, like that so that if you wanted a long spoon, uh, you could use it like that. So pretty cool set there. I, I've had these for a while, never really knew where to use them. They fit really well down into the bug out roll. 
Now I have this uh, HydroPack uh, stash bottle. Again, something that I've had for a long time and never really uh, had a place to put it. So again, in here is the perfect spot. What these do is they actually just uh, unfold like that and then you can fill them up uh, with water. This particular one, I believe, is a 750 milliliter. So you could put some uh, some water treatment tablets in there and uh, shake it up and use that for your water treatment, which is nice. So a nice way to store a container in a small area. Next up here, I have sort of a fire kit or fire pouch. I have some of this brand new Tinder from uh, Production Hanger 51. They're, they are the makers of Fat Rope. I actually got a whole new shipment of Fat Rope. They have a new product called, uh, I believe it's their wax wood, uh, which I use in the, uh, the wood burners. But this is a different uh, material here. It's sort of just this really stringy, waxy stuff. So looking forward to trying that out. Again, there'll be a link below to where you guys can find some of that. I just have a lighter. should have a lighter in every kit. I have some of the uh, Stormproof matches from uh, UCO gear. Just filled that back up. So I have a bunch of matches in there. And then I have a backup uh, ferrule rod in here as well. So sort of my fire kit in that section there. Finally, over in this far section, I have sort of, uh, you know, just some navigation type equipment. I have a few glow sticks. These are great for uh, signaling. You can tie a piece of paracord and swing it around in a circle. They're great for lighting up a small area. They're also good, obviously, as a backup source of light. I have a headlamp. Never really go camping or hiking without a headlamp. I have a compass for uh, general direction, have a, a pad of paper here for writing notes, and then finally a signal mirror, so signaling and communication in there. Next section down, there is two vinyl pockets here with again a zip. I just have a uh, carabiner clipped onto the zip here, a night eyes carabiner. You can never go wrong with one of these carabiners. Again, up top here, I have this hero clip. What's nice about this hero clip is it actually uh, will fold down into a carabiner. So you could store it like this, but then it comes apart and spins. So I can clip this onto the loop here at the top of the bug out roll. And then again, pretty much hang this on anything on a swivel. So I can hang it on the side of my car, hang it on the side of a camper, hang it on a tree limb when it works really good with, uh, without having the need to tie a rope around a tree. Moving down to these next sections, I have a full-blown Hiker Pro uh, water filter. This is a, a group water filter. Again, this kit would be something that I would take like car camping or uh, you know camping where I'm not that far off the trail with a group. So I thought I should put a full-size uh, water filter in there. So I was able to fit that in there. I also have some of these drops. Uh, if, for example, the water filter didn't work, I could use these drops in uh, conjunction here with this bottle and that would allow me to, uh, to treat water as well. Next section is first aid. So I have a survival blanket, I have a tourniquet, and then I just have uh, one of these uh, group size medical kits. I've used these before. I use them, then I refill them. It's watertight, which is nice. So you have things like bandages and gauze pads and some tape in there. Pretty much everything you need in a small emergency kit. Moving down to the next section, again, you have two vinyl pockets. These do not have a zip. They are just uh, open so you can stick larger things in there without having to worry about zipping them. And again, this is really, really durable. This whole gas tank fits in there and uh, you don't have to worry about it hurting the uh, vinyl. So I have a uh, gas canister here that goes with my little MSR Pocket Rocket 2. So a way to uh, heat up water, heat up food. Next in this pocket, I have a couple of dehydrated meals that I can uh, heat up water and pour in here. Now, I do not have a metal, metal canister in here. Again, generally, if I'm going camping, I'm going to have a canteen, a metal canteen on me anyway, which I can use on the stove to heat water. But if I'm taking pots and pans, those wouldn't fit in here anyway. Uh, same goes for like a tent, a sleeping bag, and a sleeping pad. So those things would be either additional items in your car or additional items in a separate pack. Again, this is not something you're going to go backpacking with. It's more of a base camp type setup and a way to organize a lot of your smaller items. So two mountain house meals uh, in there. And then we have this admin section. Now I'm not a huge fan of the admin section. I'd rather just have another zippered vinyl pouch. And that's something that you get with that new, uh, more affordable uh, 
pack roll that uh, Nate has come out with. So I look forward to checking one of those out. But you have four of these uh, sections here. If you were bringing a firearm, you could definitely keep ammunition in here. I know they'll they'll fit a box of shells in each one. I do have uh, a two-way radio set up in the middle here. This does uh, my weather, uh, so I can get weather on that. I can also uh, key into local communications such as police, uh, fire, and uh, and utility services. So that's nice to have in there, especially if you're using this as a car kit. Next, I have a multi-tool. I have the uh, Gerber center drive, so that fits nicely in there. And then in some of these pockets in the back here, I just have a pen and a standard 18650 flashlight. All right, then let's move on to the last four sections. Again, these are Velcro removable, so you could swap them, uh, or you could get just a standard roll without these sections. In the two Cordura sections here on the top one, I have my uh, Power Film Solar Charger. That fits nicely down in there. I did a previous review on this. Basically, it's just a rollable solar panel. It's got DC output, so I can charge my ham radio, uh, charge a lot of different devices on this, especially uh, with USB. I love this. It's one of the best portable solar panels you can get. It also has a USB uh, battery bank built inside it, so I can use that to keep my electronics charged. And again, I just have a bunch of cables in here, different cables that I might need including a DC cable. Now I don't have anything in this pocket at the moment. Again, I'm still working on my loadout uh, in this kit, so I don't have anything in this center pocket. But this bottom section here, this is sort of my uh, base camp setup or my shelter type setup. Uh, something I could tear off and go and use to set up a tent, for example. So in here I have an emergency uh, tarp. It's just an orange tarp from Bushcraft Outfitters. I believe it's a five by seven. Definitely great to have in the vehicle, for example, if I didn't have any other shelter. I could certainly use that. Could also use that for signaling. I have uh, some paracord. Definitely a good idea to have uh, some uh, cordage. This is high vis cordage. And I have a couple uh, little carabiners in here heavy duty carabiners, uh, load rated, and then uh, just some stakes. So uh, always, always forget stakes, it seems like when I get out to camp. So I wanted to make sure I put some extra stakes in here uh, so I don't have to sit there and spend the time carving out stakes. So a couple just shelter building utility type pockets here again. These are uh, two, two windowed pockets here with the zip. Again, very, very smooth zip. And then finally, in this final pocket, it's sort of my cutting tools. I have a Silky Big Boy uh, 2000. Now, Nate also has partnered with Silky. Canadian Prepper has partnered with Silky. He sells these saws. So if you want a good deal on a sil Silky saw, which I think are hands down the best saws. I mean, this is a huge saw that you're able to get in this bug out roll. I use the Silky F180 as my small roll, my or my small saw, my small sort of bushcrafting saw. And then I have a Silky Sugawaza as my larger saw, which fits onto the outside of a pack. So if you're looking to get something uh, high quality from Silky, definitely check out uh, his website uh, for that as well. And I'm going to be doing a future review on my favorite Silky saws. So stay tuned for that. And then I just have a, I believe it's a Becker BK7. Yeah, it's the 7. I also have the 9. The 9 was a little bit long but the, uh, the BK7 fits fine in here. There's really nothing you can't do with a, uh, a good quality uh, knife such as the Becker BK7. So those two items fit perfectly in there. Now I usually just have a small folding knife or a belt knife on me anyway, so I didn't really feel the need to put another knife in here. You could put you know, maybe a small Mora knife in here. Uh, that would work well. So, you know, the sky's the limit as to how you want to load this thing up. It's modular, it's multi-purpose. I like the fact that you can see your, your contents uh, and you just can't go wrong with the quality and design of this roll. And then again, everything that you saw in this roll here, it's amazing that it actually will roll right up. So you can just roll this thing. And I thought there is no way with all this gear in here that this thing is going to roll up. But it really does roll up. It rolls up quite small. And then you just throw your clips on. Hooks in the way here. Let me get that out of the way. And you just throw your clips on here starting with this first clip. Get that side folded down here.
bring your side flaps around and clip those in. You've got extra extra nylon here so that or extra webbing so that you're able to adjust that. Then you can cinch that right down. We can do the same thing on the other side. Grab this other flap, bring it around here, clip that in, line that up, cinch that up. And then you're pretty well secured here, but you still have the two sections in the back that you can clip together. So I can clip that section on there. This can actually avoid a bit further down here. Bring that over, cinch that up. You can really cinch this down nice and tight, which is the great thing about it. Cinch that up a little bit more, and I can take these two. Hook those together in the back. Make sure we're not twisted here. And just like that, you've got your bug out roll ready to go. So if you're looking for a one-of-a-kind, high-quality, multi-purpose gear roll that can store and organize a ton of gear and do it in a fairly small form factor for what you can get in there, the bug out roll is definitely worth taking a look at. It's multi-purpose. You can use it in many different applications. Now you can get different uh, setups as well. You can get the full version that I've shown here today. You can get a shorter version without the two uh, extra panels. And he's even got a new version, the pack roll, which I'm very interested in. It has a little bit different uh, material to it and it's all uh, vinyl instead of uh, some Cordura and some vinyl without that center admin kit. The price is a lot lower on that model as well. So there is something in all different price points. And price wise, when you're looking on the website, remember those those are in Canadian dollars, designed by my good friend Nate, the Canadian prepper, and made in Canada, again, of those high quality materials. I'm gonna put a link below where you guys can check out the different versions uh, on his website. It's CanadianPreparedness.com, so there'll be a link below if you guys wanna go check that out. I'm also gonna put a link to his channel, Canadian Prepper, where he does a ton of in-depth informative videos on survival and prepping and SHTF uh, topics that you really don't see on any other channels and they're really really well done as well as he does do several reviews so there will be a link below to that hope you guys enjoyed the video today please give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section below please share this to any friends and family who might be interested in a bug out roll for themselves on your social media. And if you haven't already done so, please click that red subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of new videos.